Radio 1450. The number is 529-1450. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Fantasy Football 101 on Sports Radio 1450 and streaming live on the webpage at sportsradio1450.com. Adam Stark alongside Eric Pettigo, Mark Graham, and Nick Arelli running the show here today. and We appreciate all of your calls. We'll take them. Throughout the morning until 9 o'clock today, 529-1450 is that phone number. And uh, we still want to run through the injuries. We only got through the quarterbacks, and there are a bunch. Uh, Mark, why don't you lead us off this segment with uh, the injuries to the running backs? Well, okay, we've got quite a few here. Let's see, on the running backs, let's start out. Brian Westbrook is questionable, but it sounds like from what I've heard the last couple nights is that he's going to play, but you have to be real careful with him. It's, it's going to be a toughie. Willie Parker courses out. Uh, Maurice Morris may be come back to uh, Seattle this week. It's it's questionable with him. Uh, naturally, Mendenhall fractured shoulder out. Willis McGee. But he still has his head. Still has his head. So that's good. But yeah, that's, that's a good thing there. I lost the bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Willis McGee. He has a, a bruised chest and is questionable. Limited work in practice Wednesday. Uh, still uncertain whether he play. Uh, we also have Maroney who practiced fully on Wednesday and and. Is questionable, but they think that he'll play also. Amon Green, we won't even talk about that. That's a, a non-factor anymore. Uh, Justin Fargus, the groin is still bothering him and is uh, uh, very much doubtful to play. Uh, Oakland has a bye. Well, okay, that's a, okay, okay, good I thing. Think they're all doubtful <laughs> in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Lindell. Oh man, slap my face and call me bitch. All right. Uh, I don't know how to take that. Lindell White has uh, shoulder soreness. Take it like a man, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's 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 probably he was limited in practice, and he and we if he plays, he'll probably be limited in the number of touches, which makes Chris Johnson uh, uh, looks a lot better that uh, that game. So that's what I've got so far. If you guys got anything else, go ahead and add. Chris Johnson's a good play anyway. That's oh, absolutely. Sure. All right, let's move on and get the wide receivers. We'll also take your phone calls, 529-1450. Let's take one right now. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Hey, what's up, fellas? How what's you doing? On? Hey, I need to get a wide receiver, and I'm kind of torn between uh, Tom Byron and Dale DeBone. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, flip a coin. <laughs> I don't think either one's going to do you any good. Nope, don't either. And, <laughs> and neither will these guys. That wasn't my dad. And <laughs> Anquan Bolden is out. He might be out until week eight. Deion Branch uh, actually was inserted in the starting lineup as far as I saw this morning. Kevin Curtis still has that sports turning. He practiced all week, but he's not going to play this week. But look for him to play next week, so maybe a sleeper pickup uh, if you want to snag him this week before anyone else gets their hands on him. 529-1450 is the phone number. Good morning. You're listening to Fantasy Football 101. Yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, the last... Uh couple weeks i've been playing uh greg jennings uh wide receiver wise like kind of he's been a nice surprise sure uh but with aaron Rodgers and everything what what would you do with that one who depends who else on who else have? yeah that's who else do you have to play um i have yocho problemo nope <laughs> um what's his name from houston uh walter walter yeah okay there's a good option you would but, go with maybe that? i tell you what, if you and can I've find... I've got Donald Driver, too, which is another, mm. it, you know... If you can find out early enough where you can still, you know, change your, your lineup, if if you know Rodgers is going to be out, then definitely I'd go with Walter. If Rodgers is going to play, then you take your chances, because I'm with Rodgers, I've, I've got a chance to play him in one league of mine, and I'm scared, even if I hear he's going to play, if he takes one hit, I'm scared to death that's going to be it for the game, and it could happen in the second quarter, and I'd be screwed. So it's it's really yeah. going to be a tough decision, but I think Walter would be a good play for you. I yeah. personally yeah. still have Greg Jennings in, and uh, and I'll keep him in regardless. Remember, this is a Green Bay like receiving core who led the league in yards after catch last season. Really, all you need to do is get the ball into these guys' hands. It doesn't matter if it's a deep ball, a, a short route, and they will make plays. So Greg Jennings, I think, is a playmaker and worth plugging in regardless of who the quarterback is. But I do like mm-hmm. that uh, that Walter matchup against Indy. Yeah, Walter, okay. Walter's not a night uh, or a bad play, that's for sure. Um, you also might want to look at trading Donald Driver instead of having both those guys on your roster. And the Packers do play the Falcons, so... You know, even if they do have to go to the backup quarterback, they're still probably going to want to throw the ball a little bit, especially if they get behind early because the Falcons like to score quick. 529-1450 is the phone number. Good morning. You're listening to Fantasy Football 101. Yeah, hey, good morning. I uh, missed the first part of your show, but 
I was wondering if you guys had talked about Deuce McAllister and how many touches do you think he might get this week? All right, that's a good question. 529-1450 is the number. Uh, I don't know that Deuce is going to play a whole lot. He is going to see some time. He but got 20 carries last week. He, he did last 20 week, 20 right? Carries this yeah, he, week, though, uh, against Minnesota, that is a, a really, really brutal run, D. So it, he will get a lot of touches, but I don't know that it will be a Temper your expectations. Yeah. yeah. 529-1450 is the phone number. Let's take another phone call. Good morning. Matt Schaub or Ben Ruffelsberger? Hmm. I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll go with uh, uh, Matt Schaub. I think he's got a decent matchup. Uh, Roethlisberger is one of the quarterbacks that's dinged up. I don't know if there's anyone, honestly, any more dinged up than Ben. I mean, every part of his body sore. And I'm just not confident that he's going to be able to, to do as well as you would expect Ben to do. I'd go with Schaub. I actually read right before I came in here, and I forgot to throw it in when I was going over the quarterbacks. Roethlisberger is a 50-50 shot at even playing this week. He might not even play, so you really have to keep an eye on that. And Matt Schaub against Indy, I, I also saw that, you know, Indy is in, I believe, the top five in pasty, which totally blew my mind. I guess it's because everyone's running all That's over That's just them. it. Yeah, no one passes. They don't need to. They run the ball. You can get 150, 160 yards a game against Indy. But you, you still have to look at that. Yep. No, no, no Bob Sanders. Throw. That's always a big uh, uh, deterrent with me when, it, when it gets, I get an opponent. If they don't have Sanders in there, that all make, that makes the other team a little bit better. Well, and that, that's very worrisome, though, for people with Big Ben and especially Steelers fans because uh, Nick and I, weren't we talking earlier in the week, Charlie Batch is probably out, too, as far as their backup. Yeah, they said uh, By- Byron Leftwich has been taking a lot of snaps this week, which I don't Ooh. know. Yeah. <laughs> against, against, against his former team? Yeah, I'm not liking that at all. They play Jacksonville, so that's pretty tough. 529-14. Yeah, Byron. 529-14-50 is the phone number. Good morning. You're listening to Fantasy Football 101. Yeah, guys, what do you think of Michael Turner's uh, feast or famine performance so far this year, and what do you foresee him doing uh, in the future um, with, you know, Matt Ryan and, and uh, maybe defense is possibly stacking the box? I mean, would he be a guy that you'd maybe go out and try to target in a trade for a lower-end guy like um, like a Fred Taylor and, and a wide receiver? Well, I don't uh, – yeah, I might want to trade him. I don't know about trying to pick up Fred Taylor, but no pun intended, he did start – Hot did Turner, and now he's kind of cooled off a little bit. And, you know, he's very inconsistent, and they're going to play a very good run defense this week. I wouldn't play him this week for sure. That Green Bay rush D, not what everybody thinks it is. I look, It's like 26th in, in the NFL. Really? They are letting people run all over them. So Michael Turner is a matchup running back, and this week, believe it or not, even though it doesn't seem like it because Green Bay is known for having such a good defense, this is actually a good matchup for Michael Turner. He's yeah, going to have a nice week. The Green Bay defense, especially the run defense, you're right, is living off reputation. They're not playing that well this year. Turner's a guy, and you said it, Eric, he's a good matchup running back. He's not someone right now that you just automatically plug in. He's close, but not quite. You take the matchups and go from there. 529-1450 is the phone number. You're listening to Fantasy Football 101 on Sports Radio 1450 and live on the web at sportsradio1450.com. And we're running through the wide receiver injuries. I got through a couple there. Uh, Justin Gage, likely not to play, but also not a huge factor for Tennessee. Joey Galloway, a sprained foot. Daryl Jackson has been listed as questionable. James Jones, sprained knee, questionable. Brandon Lloyd, who started to heat up for a little bit there for the Bears, now has a knee injury, and he's... Unable to practice all week long and is unlikely to play this weekend. Dane Looker, uh, doesn't matter. Rams aren't playing. David Patton, we already talked about him. Strain groin, probably not going to see a whole lot of time, if any, this week. That's why uh, Eric's pickup of Lance Moore is a good, good move. If he's still out there in a lot of leagues, and I'm sure that he is, go get him right now. Uh, Dante Stallworth for Cleveland, a quad. He says he might want, he says he could play or he could be out till week six or through week six. So who knows with Dante Stallworth there. But again, these are big time factor wide receivers. So, you can pick up a guy like Lance Moore, or even I saw, uh, who did I see get picked up this week, too? Uh, Bobby Ingram got picked up, but he was even drafted by some teams. So you just got to kind of look at your league. It depends on how many teams are in your league. I know guys are in between 6 and 14 teams in their league, so it does, you, know, you have to check that out, too.